This is the JM Go N1S Ultimate. It's the world's first triple laser 4K projector with Google TV and is licensed by Netflix. It has a built-in gimbal for instant image calibration on walls and ceilings, and this projector has 3500s of anti-lumens, so you can experience HDR content even in bright rooms. With a contrast ratio of 1600 to 1, 110% BT.2020 wide color gamut, and it has a 10-bit color depth with over 1 billion colors, which makes it time to take your entertainment to the next level. And if you're a gamer, you can even enjoy 4K at 60 frames per second or 1080p at 120 frames per second. Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and I partnered with JMGO to show you one of their newer projectors. This is the N1S Ultimate. It's a triple laser projector with 3500 of ANSI lumens. This projector is bright and it has a great feature where you can pivot it from side to side, up and down, and it automatically readjusts the picture. And it's gonna be great for anyone who just want to have something they can put out real quick and get a picture right away. Behind me, we have a 120 inch ALR daylight screen that we're gonna be using for this video. With that being said, when this JM Go arrives at your house, it comes in this very plain box, but let's take a look and see what's inside. It looks like it's packed pretty good. As you can see, it comes in this plastic bag and inside of here, there's a Pelican case. Let's go ahead and get that open. And it has features like triple laser, 4K capabilities, as well as Dolby Audio, DTS sound. And with Google TV, you can have access to plenty of applications and we'll check that out once I get it all set up. Now, the moment of truth. Wow, look at that. This projector is packed very well. On the top of it, just basically gives you some information about how to plug it in. Over here, we have some accessories. And that includes this massive 24 volt power supply with the cable for it. You also get a quick setup guide, the remote control, and it comes with batteries. Take a closer look at the remote control. You have your power, microphone, Google Voice, navigation, as well as some different keys to get to your home screen and volume. And there's some hot keys at the bottom for your favorite applications. So let's go and get the projector out of the Pelican case. On the bottom of it, has this little roller so you can adjust it in different ways. And this is gonna make it easy to line up in your room, especially with the automatic keystones. And you can tilt it up and down so you can get the right angle for this projector. It does have a speaker system on the left and right and they call it master sound. There's also a fan system here to keep it nice and cool whenever you're playing your favorite TV shows or movies. And on the back of it, you do have a USB, two HDMIs, one is eARC for soundbar, and you do have a headphone audio output. And on the front of it, there's some sensors as well as the lighting system. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video. For the most part, I'm gonna show you how it performs with the lights off, but I want to show you a couple of things before we go ahead and get started. You might see these scan lines. It has nothing to do with projector. Basically, it's the camera working with the projector to film it. So it's nothing wrong with anything you're about to see. Just want to give you a heads up before we got started. One of my favorite features about this projector is that it can produce a large screen, so it's gonna be great when watching sporting events. I did find that the motion is pretty decent, and it has a feature called MEMC that allows you to adjust the motion in different levels so you can achieve a very smooth picture. In my opinion, I think this projector has a really good picture, and the fact that this is a tri-laser projector, you're gonna get very good contrast and colors out of it. And it became very apparent that it was a great performing with the tri-laser lenses when I switched over to movies. The things I noticed is that the white levels were great, it had inky black levels for a projector, and it had a lot of vivid colors that really stood out, so I could definitely see where watching movies is gonna have a lot of advantages. And it has plenty of picture modes that you can go through, and this is one of the advantage of a tri-laser projector, so you have three separate lasers creating a picture instead of one, which can become a little bit more diluted in the picture quality. And I did want to switch to the different picture profiles so you can get an idea of what type of settings it has in it. And I would say that a lot of these settings are going to be great, but a lot of people like to watch everything in movie mode, which is great. But I will tell you that this could play a role in motion when watching sporting events and things like that. So you might want to switch that up to a different picture profile. And I can honestly say, if you plan on watching HDR content, it is gonna be extremely bright. And this is gonna be great for watching Netflix, 
Disney Plus, as well as Prime Video, anything that has high dynamic range, you're gonna get a really bright, crisp picture out of this projector. Even if you don't have a screen to project it on, you're still gonna get a great image. And I'm gonna show you a setting later on in the video so you can see how you can calibrate the projector to match up with your wall and your decor. This JM Go projector has two HDMI 2.1s and one of them is eARC, so you can hook up a sound bar to it to get really good sound out of it just by using HDMI. Additional to that, you can hook up Bluetooth or headphones if you want to get sound in different ways. The bass response is capable of going down to 45 hertz and it does have 10 watts by two. And even though this is recording, I want you to hear the sound system for yourself. Now here we have the Xbox and I want to check out the video settings, see what the capabilities are on this JM Go. Under TV and display options, it will support 4K at 60 frames per second. Note here that it will do 1080p at 120 frames per second. And under video modes, it will not support variable refresh rate nor Adobe Vision Gaming. To get to 1080p, all you would do is just go over here to the refresh rate and toggle to 120 hertz. And now you have 1080p capabilities at 120 hertz. And note here, this is using an ultra high speed cable, which is a HDMI 2.1. Now we have the PS5 up. Let's take a look at the settings for this console. So if we go down here to screen and video, and just like the Xbox, it will support 4K at 60 frames per second. And I just want to point out that it will not support 1440p. In my opinion, this projector is gonna be great for gaming, great for movies, and great for everyday TV content watching. Now I'm gonna walk you through the menu system so you can see some of the features that this projector has to offer. And keep in mind that it is powered by Google TV and it is Netflix certified. Now when you get a projector like this, the first thing you wanna do is go over to the settings. Under settings, we need to line up the projector with the screen. Now keep in mind, this projector does have this axis system so you can move it around side to side and you can move it up and down so you can match it up with your screen. Now one of the great features is the JM Go is designed to automatically keystone, depends on where you locate it and if you have it on a blank wall. But since I'm using a screen on it, I need to do some manual settings. So as you can see there, it realigns itself up, no problem. So what I need to do is just go in and kind of get an idea where I want to put it and then I could turn off this instant correction. Now, if you're gonna be moving it around, you wanna leave that on, but for me, I'm gonna do a manual keystone, and this is gonna allow me to adjust the projector with my particular screen and make sure everything is lined up perfectly, and this is ideal if you plan on put it in a set location. And as you can see there, it's very easy, it's all lined up, ready to go, and I just want to point out again, there's that scan line, has nothing to do with the performance of the projector here live. And there's features like your focus, you can set it for automatic or manual focus, and there's different ways you can mount it, whether you're putting it on the ceiling, on your coffee table, what have you. There's a setting in here so you can adjust it so it knows how to adjust the picture. Now there's a feature called Smart Eye Protection, and basically what this does, if you stand in front of it or get your hand in front of it, and there's a sensor that picks up on a projector so that'll keep from hurting anyone's eyes or anything like that. But for demo purposes, we're gonna leave this off. Just make sure that you know that that exists. Now this is a very unique feature right here. It's called Adapted Wall Color. And if you press on Calibration, what it's gonna do is it's gonna set up the red, green, and blues for you. So now I have everything aligned. You can see that it does have a snappy interface and it is Google operating system. Over here, we can watch live TV right off the internet. You don't even need a TV tuner. And you can pick up some local stations with this. There's an app store, so if you plan on enjoying it on a camping trip or somewhere where you have Wi-Fi and a power connection, you can download these applications and have a lot of fun with your family. 
Now, I will show you a few last things inside of the settings. We won't go too deep into this, but there's some picture adjustments. You have 24 gigs of internal memory. You have ambient mode that plays wall art when you're not using the projector. And you can use an Android device or some Apple devices to cast to the projector. Now, keep in mind, this one does not have Alexa, nor does it have Apple AirPlay or HomeKit. However, you still can use Google devices. Now, it does have Bluetooth built in, so you can connect headphones to it, keyboards, mouse, things like that. Earlier, I did mention that it does have sensors on front of it, and these sensors are used to adjust the picture, plus you can have it set up, or if anything gets in front of the projector, it will dim the screen to protect eyes. Additional to that, the JM Go does have an application, so you can use it with your smart device instead of the remote control that comes with it. And this gives you features like a full remote control, as you can see right here. There's a trackpad that you can pull up and you can do gestures. You can flatten the image or even learn more about the device just by pressing on that. You can see the storage and everything right there. The projector also has a handy power button that's on the gimbal base and the power supply plugs into the side of the base so it's easy to keep the wires out of the way. In my opinion, this is one of the most versatile projectors out there. The fact that it can adjust itself on the fly is a plus. The fact that I lined it up to the screen very easy is a plus. The fact that it has Google TV, Netflix, triple lasers, and it's extremely bright, I think you're gonna be happy having a projector like this that you can watch at your home. You can take it over to a friend's house and broadcast it onto a wall, and you can take it just about anywhere to get a full movie experience. If you're interested in learning more or the full lineup of these JM Go projectors, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.